Are you looking for unique new things to do with your channel points? What if I told you there was an app that lets your chat use their channel points to basically control the cool things on your stream deck? Like making things like me appear. Hey guys, I'm Duty Beard. Uh, I'm a Twitch partner. I'm probably live right now, so you should probably come in and say hey. Uh, you could be missing out on amazing content like this. Uh, before we get started, uh, and you can skip ahead uh, to this time, I'm gonna pop it on screen for you guys. Just a couple of sponsors real quick. This video was made possible by the dudes at Alt Customs and the dudes at Gamersubs. I love these products so much. Um, links are in the description, so you can either make a radical 60% uh, keyboard or you can get a nice discount on a tub of subs. Uh, both you can use code duty. Again, links are in the descriptions. Please check them out. Um, at least uh, consider clicking on it and just taking a look at the uh, link down in the descriptions. That would be awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. This takes two ingredients. You have two ingredients only. You need the Leoron board app. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but you need the Leoron board app, and you need the OBS WebSocket plugin. Now, both links are going to be down in the description, so you are all set. Just look there, and it'll be there. Once you've got the, uh, the plugin downloaded, uh, go ahead and go to this window. It should honestly be the same for everybody. Um, my good man, Double Agent Smith, gave me his URL in it, because I always have problems putting plugins in. I always have to look it up, so now I just go to the conversation. I have the, the little thing pinned for when I need to find it. It should be in your Windows, your Program Files, your OBS Studio, OBS Plugins. Uh, for me, it's 64, and just zoop that WebSocket in there. Uh, if you if if you don't feel comfortable zooping it, then you can just pop it in there, drag it in there, whatever you want. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done with the dad jokes. I'm sorry. You can stop watching the video now. What the WebSocket is going to do, it's going to read uh, the browser source that we're about to put in, actually. So if you go to uh, once you download uh, and unzip the ORAM board, I just keep mine on the desktop in just this own little file. I don't think you really, uh, that's where I put mine. Uh, it's all good. But we are basically only, we're going to be focusing on the LeoRAM board receiver. This does have a deck for uh, your Android phone, so if you have like an Android tablet, you can use that. Um, but the only reason I keep the Leo Ram board running is I keep it in the background, and that's how that's how I let chat uh, use their channel points to read everything. But before we do anything, we are going to take this guy, the TSL transmitter. Now, remember that location. Remember, remember the clue. Okay, that's the clue, and remember it. So now that you've got that clue remembered. We're going to make a new source on any scene. I have, uh, I'm just gonna put it on this scene for a test, but uh, you can put it on any scene. You only need it on one scene, which is really cool. So if you have any uh, groups nesting on one scene, that would be the best one. But anyway, make a browser source. For this one, I'm just gonna call this test Leo Ran Board. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And you get one of these fancy, fancy blocks. So we're gonna click on right on top local file. We're going to hit browse. And, and we are going to find that clue before TSL transmitter. And we are going to make that the, the local file. But once you, once you got, once you got the plugin all set in there, once you got the browser source set in there, you are all set to go. Go ahead and open up the folder Leoran board receiver. Uh, forgive me for pronouncing that a whole bunch of different ways, by the way. Um, double click on Leo Ren Board Receiver app, and that's the app. So once you do that, it will look just like this. Uh, it will ask you all this, uh, it'll ask you these port numbers and everything. This, this is the default port numbers, so these should work. Um, but, but if not, you can go up here to Tools. And if you've installed the WebSocket, sir, uh, the WebSocket uh, plugin correctly, you should see this, and the information should be right here for you guys. Uh, on top of that, I keep my FPS at 30 because there's not a whole lot going on. There's not a whole lot of animations, but make sure you auto connect to OBS and make sure you auto connect to Twitch. Once you're all set with your options, you are going to want to connect these three bad boys. 
uh, go ahead and click on connect to OBS. Mine is already done. If you've done the plugin and the browser source correctly, then the first and the third one will be really, really easy. Um, if the second one will pull up uh, this box right here, go ahead and click open URL. It'll give you one of those uh, authorization screens where you just have to click authorize. So go ahead and click on this. And if all three are grayed out, you are good to go. If not, back up a little bit. You probably put a plugin in the wrong folder, but go ahead and leave a comment and I will make sure to uh, get back to you anyway if you're still having crazy issues and everything. After you've done all of that, you get uh, this screen. There are a couple of uh, tutorial slides that uh, Leo Ran put down here on, uh, on the thing for you to just kind of teach you how everything everything works and everything. Um, I do definitely suggest you look up the Discord and get in there. He is extremely helpful. He is extremely accessible. Um, I actually helped him figure out the, uh, the, the utilization for multiple gift subs for Twitch. So now we get to figure that out uh, and make some really cool stuff. And again, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So anyway, Caillou Coins is my channel's currency. Because uh, I hate Caillou. Not like I have a stuffed Caillou in my background or anything, but I hate that. I hate that kid. So this is the craziness of what my Leo Ran board looks like. It is absolutely nuts. And as you can see, there are automatic things. Everything kind of works automatically. These top things work on the channel points on my channel. These are all the different buttons. Imagine you're looking at your stream deck in front of you. These are the buttons that would push to activate, set a timer to pause, and then deactivate the scene. These down here on the left are my secret mod tools. They get me to certain scenes that only mods can use. This one that says 911 is any kind of emergency where they would have to stop uh, the stream uh, for any reason. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe I get hacked or something like that. You never know, you gotta think ahead. And then right here is something that I'm working on now. Uh, something that I hope to see a lot of you guys work on is uh, tier two and tier three super alerts. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's also this TTS, which will be the talking hand in another video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, so I can keep making cool videos like this, guys. A couple of things to note here. One very important thing that I always forgot until I stopped forgetting, I guess, is when you make any changes in here, none of them will register until you hit done. So make sure when you do something, you hit done to, to say I'm to say I'm done and I agree and I agree with the decision I just made so if so if you're familiar with my stream then you know that I have a lot of crazy cutaways that I can control with my stream deck and that chat can control with these channel points here's an example of one <laughs> so they will pop up on stream I have them set up through Leoran board I have everything um, even basic ones like changing scenes so let's let's take a look at that let's right click garf which is a scene where i show a, a garfield comic strip and it's very simple so basically i this on the left is the action what does it do are you going to scene switch are you going to let's take a look at some change scene transition remove scene transition source mute source toggle mute and there's a lot there are a lot oh man i just upgraded this and i did not even realize that there were a lot of these so there are there is a lot of stuff to work on for the next uh for the next iteration oh this is going to be fun so anyway since i don't really need that i'm going to go ahead and click this trash can to get rid of it delete the command yes i got a little prompt that said delete the command so basically the action is scene switch it switches to garfield and when somebody gets the appropriate amount of channel points and wants to do that, I will be on this scene here. Simple as that. So let's say we want to get uh, to something a little bit more complicated. Now, one thing that I do is nesting scenes. Now I'm going to show you a very small uh, example of what exactly I'm talking about. So nesting scenes Let's say you're like me and you have a ton of those little cutaways. 
So I have a folder here called screen fun, which I leave idle on this scene right here, scenes. I'm not gonna change because my display captures on the scene that I'm on. But on that scene, it's 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 a bunch of folders like Screen Fun, Awards, Moesha Group, like the TV show Moesha. It pops up and we dance to the theme song. It's amazing. But all of my fun stuff are here on this scene. That's a lot of things. Like the one that you just saw, Secret Word, where the other streamer friends, Double Agent Smith and Legion of Guy, they, they yell, like in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Um, that is, that's, that's, that's where they are. That's where they are. So, basically, they're in a group. If you put a group, if I put this group on any scene, it will appear in every scene the same way. So, the cool thing about groups is that if it's on one scene, it's on every scene. So, all I have to do is add the one group, and I can just as easily... Every single scene that that group folder is on will appear in tandem. It works differently with sources. One source can be invisible on one scene and visible on another, but groups doesn't work like that. If a group is invisible, if a source in a group is invisible, it's invisible on all of them. Now, why, why, why is nesting groups important? Because, I'll show you, let's do something a little bit more uh, complicated, like the secret word that I keep showing you. Let's go to the commands for that. Let's look at the chain for that. So, what's the action over here? Source change visibility. That means it only changes, obviously, the visibility of the single source, and that's all I need. That is why you should learn how to nest your sources so this process becomes really, really automated. So, to do this, you need two of the same actions, source change visibility, Make sure the scene name and the, the item, which is the source, the item is the same. In this case, it's secret word. To turn it on, you're gonna wanna put toggle, and this is important. Uh, to turn it off, you're gonna wanna put false. In an older version of the software, toggle used to work, you know, how you would think it was. It would turn it on, it would turn it off. Whatever it was, it would, it would toggle the opposite, so. This keeps it safe. This myth false is better to use anyway. For some reason, when I upgrade, when I updated, it, it changed, but it's not even important. Um, most importantly, I want the whole thing to play before it disappears. That's where these delays come in. Now, if you're used to another stream deck, you might be used to probably putting the delay beforehand, but you're gonna want to put the delay. You're gonna you're gonna assume that the delay that you put happens before the action. So if the, if this column here was at the very beginning, then it would make more sense, but just assume for science, or social studies I guess in this case, in this sense, um, that this column is all the way on the left, so. It, so basically when I hit on my end a secret word, or when chat hits on their end secret word, it will open up, it will toggle the source, it will delay 5,000 milliseconds, and then it will play then it will, excuse me, then it will false, then it will turn off the source. So that's very important. That is, ba that's basically, uh, that that's the basics of making buttons in here. Something like my tier three super alert has a lot of very big, a big chain of commands. Uh, the cool thing is these delays don't have to be in order, which I really like. Thanks, Leo Ren. I, I like that a lot. Um, but basically, so when somebody subs tier three, a whole bunch of things happen. I have a bunch of sor multi sources. Then the scene changes after a little while. Then there's a uh, an animation that I made custom to appear after a delay. Then I put in some Street Fighter sound effects. Um, and then, then all the, the, the sources that I want off will go away. I kept the close-up on my mouth, that's what that is. I kept that just so I can take it off because it's funnier when it's close-up on my mouth, but this is what a more complicated one looks like. Um, I'm sure when you know the basics, everything will be really easy for you and you will come up with a lot of stuff. So, now is the easiest part. I promise you, you are going to 
you are going to be, you, this is the moment you've all been waiting for, and this is actually the easiest part. So if you did everything, and you got everything perfect up until right now, now you, now is the best part. Now you get to connect your, your channel points, I was about to say Caillou coins, now you get to connect your channel points to the, to the command. So, let's take a secret word, which is in question, and you're going to right click and hit edit Twitch triggers. Now, once you click on that, you're going to see that there's a nice amount of uh, triggers, including extensions, raids, subs, which you can differentiate between Tier 2, Tier 3, and not in this version of the software, but in the, the newest one that just was updated, gifted subs to groups of 5, 10, 50, you know, whatever you want, variables, so... That's going to be really fun, all the variations and everything. So basically, you're going to want to click on Point Redeems. Once you click on Point Redeems, you're going to want to type in the exact name of the reward. I deleted it because this is this is mine and I want you to focus on this. The exact name of the reward that you are going to put in your channel point redemptions. Case and symbol sensitive. Very important. Then, before you hit done, make sure you copy that so you, so you get the cases right. Hit done, go to your Twitch dashboard and channel point redemptions tab under the community tab right here. Once you have made a new redemption, make sure right here you copy paste, you paste, excuse me, just paste, you've already copied, the exact same thing that you put in Leo Ran board and then save. Once you've saved and activated it, if you've done everything correctly, you are all set. Go ahead to your own Twitch chat, test it out, see if you've done it correctly. I guarantee you did if you followed everything correctly. See, that wasn't really hard at all. All right, guys, that is basically it. Again, I'm Duty Beard. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead, leave a comment, ask any questions, like, subscribe, uh, check out the links below. I have my merch and the sponsors links below. Linked below. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you consider checking them out. Uh, and please, please check me out live on Twitch. Click my Twitch link, give me a follow. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you very, very much.